there are, there are five possible explanations for where DNA came from, okay? And, and I want to go through these, okay? So we know all these codes. There's millions of codes in the world, right? There's Morse code, and mm -hmm. there's, there's thousands of computer codes, and there's all these different human languages, and all these different ways of writing things down, and mm -hmm. different alphabets. They're all codes, right? Mm -hmm. There's one code that we don't know the origin of, which is the genetic. One and only one. It's, it's, it's the, the only, only one. one. Yeah. Every other code, we know where it came from. And every form of life is based on DNA. Yes. And has the same code. It's the same code. Okay. There are very minor variations in some species, but basically it's the same code okay. in all of biology, which, by the way, is one of the arguments for evolution. Sure. It's like, well, they, I think they, they think it all evolved from a single cell because everything uses the same code. Yeah. Okay. So, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. We, we observe that all codes that we know the origin of are designed, mm -hmm. therefore what? Therefore, humans designed DNA. <laughs> well, that, that, that is logical. <laughs> Can it be true? Who designed that human's DNA? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. Like, oh, so a human being designed DNA three million years ago. Uh, and where did he come from? Okay, you know, does that explanation make sense? I don't think so. Okay, and look, time travel? Well, and then, you know, now you're into really weird stuff, okay? Two, aliens design DNA. That's where Watson ended up or something, right? There's a lot of people that have yeah. ended up at that explanation. Yeah. But... How does that help us? It doesn't, right. I mean, it it might be for, it might be true. I I'm, I'm I'm fine if it is, but it just pushes the problem back in time. Then okay, who designed the alien, mm -hmm. right? So that it gets us nowhere. Okay, number three. It occurred randomly. Mm -hmm. It was an accident. It just happened, okay? Well, that... That's the primordial soup or whatever, yeah, the, right? Yeah, it, the primordial, it, it just, yeah. by, you know, given enough time and enough stars and enough planets and a big enough universe, mm -hmm. sooner or later this had to have happened, mm -hmm. okay? Well, first of all, there, there are several problems with this. First of all, if this idea has any merit then we should see other codes occurring randomly. Mm -hmm. And so far there's been... So where are they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, if, if this is a valid, if this is a valid explanation, then it should happen more than once. Okay, there's, a, there's an even deeper problem with this though. It's not scientific. It doesn't appeal to any rules or laws or processes that you can study. Can be tested. If somebody says it happened randomly, it's basically the end of the discussion. Well, how does science get anywhere if you're trying to use explanations like that? You're comparing it to a god of the gaps answer. Yeah, it is a, it's, it's just a different god. It's mm -hmm. a, um, what if Isaac Newton, when he sat under the apple tree and the apple fell on his head, he goes, well, I think it just happened randomly. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have a theory of gravity. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a irresponsible, anti-scientific explanation. It's the worst possible explanation. It gets you nowhere. What, if, if you accept this explanation, what have you learned how to do? You punted, right? Yeah, it's... <clears throat> but shouldn't a scientist actually, if, if they're in this domain and they're thinking, shouldn't they actually start trying to peel the onion? Well, what do you mean? To get to the smallest incremental random act? Uh, well, I don't know. What people... So, you know, uh, does the code, is, is it all by itself 
uh, you know, the point that, of random occurrence, or is there something that's more simpler than the code that could have been random? Oh, well, okay, well, that, there, there are definitely theories that you can easily find where, well, here is how we think an even s uh, the genetic code might have evolved from an even simpler code. Yeah. And they're trying to make the jump they're trying to make the jump from randomness to order smaller. Okay. Okay. Um, but again, it's it's pure speculation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know how do how do you get from you know soup to genetic code? I, this is it's a total non-explanation. Now, number four. The genetic code is the result of undiscovered law of physics. Okay, now this is an honorable answer. It's better than this one. Mm -hmm. It's better than this one. It's a lot better than this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is this is worth looking at. Mm -hmm. 